1859, Charles Darwin, published a book titled, The Origin of the Species. In this book, Charles Darwin proposed that life began by itself, and all the various forms of animals and plants we see today, evolved from that first living cell. Darwin thought the first living cell, was the result of a chance random encounter, of all the right molecules and atoms. It was thought by Darwin, that the first living cell probably formed, in a pond, where all these necessary elements happen to be. At first glance, this seems like a plausible idea, but as one looks closer, it seems less likely to be the case. At the time of Darwin's publishing, living cells were thought to be very simple, jelly-like substances. Today we realize that even the simplest living cells are very complex living organisms, with many parts. However, Charles Darwin's proposal, that the first living cell just happened, by random chance, runs contrary to a basic law of physics. The second law of thermodynamic states, systems go, from ordered states, to less ordered states. This is an expression, of the universal principle of decay, observable in nature. As time goes on, there is less, and less order, this second law of thermodynamics is also called entropy. To help you understand this concept of thermodynamics, we will look at an illustration presented by Stephen Hawking, in his book, A Brief History of Time. We have a box, with a transparent lid, which has an assembled jigsaw puzzle inside. The puzzle is now in an ordered state, so that it makes a picture we can all recognize. In our example, the puzzle makes a picture of a living cell. Now, if we add random motion to the puzzle, by shaking the box, we will note that the pieces move apart. Nothing surprising about this, we expect this to happen. The more we shake the box, the more disorder we see. Now in theory, it is possible that if we shake the box long enough, the pieces will once again form the picture. But the chances of this happening, become very very small. Why is this so? The answer, has to do with the number of possible positions, that each piece can be in. Each piece, has to be in the correct position for us to see the completed picture. There is only one, correct arrangement of the puzzle. However, there are literally thousands of trillions of incorrect arrangements of the pieces. So each time we shake the box, there are trillions of incorrect arrangements possible, but only one correct assembled form. So the odds are greatly in favor of disorder. Now imagine, instead of pieces of a puzzle, we have atoms and molecules that have to come together. Instead of shaking the box, the random motion of molecules in a pond are at work. However, instead of a 100-piece puzzle, we have a 3-billion-piece puzzle, to form that first living cell. The odds of random assembly, for the living cell, become astronomically small, due to its much greater complexity. British scientist, Sir Fred Howell, teamed up with mathematician and astrophysicist, Chandra Wickrama Singh, to calculate the probabilities for that first living cell. After working on the problem for several weeks, they came up with an astounding number. They estimated, that it would likely take about, 10 to the 40,000 power, number of years, for the first cell to occur randomly. But this is a period of time, many times greater than the age of the universe, which is only 10 to the 10 power number of years old. After doing this exercise, Hoel stated, the idea that a living cell could have developed by chance, is evidently nonsense of the highest order. An even more astounding calculation, was made by molecular biophysicist, Harold Morowitz. He calculated, that if you broke every chemical bond, in the simplest living cell, there would be only a 1 inch 10 to the 100 billion power chance that the cell would reassemble itself. French scientist and mathematician, Le Comte du Nou, said that any probability greater than, 10 to the 50th power, would simply never happen, even in the age of our universe. If Morowitz is right, then random assembly of a living cell, would simply never occur. It appears very unlikely that life started by random chance. So how did life start? Let's go back to our puzzle box. Now, if we open the cover, and let a person start to move the pieces into position, the puzzle is soon restored to the one correct arrangement. 
we have allowed intelligence and energy to move each piece, with purpose, to the assembled form. The person, understands what the puzzle is supposed to be, and moves the pieces to that end. In the same way, a creator with intelligence and power, could assemble the first living cell. This intelligent being, would understand what the living cell was to look like, and how it would function, and so he would know how to assemble it. Did life start by random assembly, as Charles Darwin stated with his theory of evolution, or did a creator God assemble that first living cell? Which is easier to believe? Is it easier to believe a random process, that is mathematically impossible, or to believe in an intelligent creator? It might take more faith, to believe in the impossible, than to believe in a God we cannot see. You can decide, which makes most sense to you. If you found this video interesting, you can find more information on the subject in the book, Discovering God and Science. To get a copy of the book, visit www.discoveringgodandscience.com or go online to Amazon Books and enter Discovering God and Science in the search box.